a reasonable grounding, you know, in maths and probably a little bit of physics. It's helpful to have at least some knowledge of engineering, again, probably not to degree level or anything like that, but just an idea of what's going on in the aeroplanes. You do need good hand-eye coordination. One of the tests that we do for people to come in is good hand-eye coordination, a good knowledge of the English language, both speaking and, and receiving, because part of your job is communications. You need to be able to get on with your fellow pilots, uh, because you might be spending 14 hours locked in a small room. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.